So my wife's birthday is coming up. Love you, honey. Happy birthday. Um, so for her birthday, I was thinking of making her a little comic book. Uh, not a full comic book, probably just a page. Uh, but so we have these two puppies. Stop, stop, stop it. And like all dog parents, we have voices for our dogs. And sometimes instead of my wife and I talking together, we talk as if we're the dogs and we <laughs> come up with little stories and stuff. Totally normal, right? Everybody does this. And it's really cute, and we, in the last, like, what is it? We've had Eva for two years, almost, and we've had Wally for almost one year. During that time, we've come up with a lot of little stories, little adventures that they go on, and the way they talk to each other. Most of them are really funny. And so I wanted to take these conversations we had and make a comic strip or a comic book out of them. And I know she would love it, because they're totally cute. I'm gonna start by trying to design them, doing little caricatures of our dogs, and then try to figure out a storyline that could fit on a page, and then clean it up, and then print it out, frame it, and then I'll give it to her. Maybe I'll film the reaction. Well, I don't have much time, so let's begin. What's that? Go get it. All right, so I'm at my drawing table now, and I'm gonna do some really quick basic shape uh, designs of Eva and Wally. Uh, and, and I'm gonna try to capture their personalities in these little caricatures. It, it's gonna be simple indications of them that I could do over and over again in many different little panels, right? So I have to figure out how to capture their likeness in a few simple shapes. Um, try to figure out what is the, the most important thing about them to capture their personality. And I've never done a caricature of a dog before, so this is gonna be interesting. I, I really don't know how this is gonna go. But it'll be fun, I'm sure. So l l let's see. I'm gonna start with Wally. I think his is gonna be a little bit easier than Eva's. So Wally's personality is, um, he's very shy, very timid. He, he, whenever he meets somebody new, he runs away, he pees as he's running. But once he gets to know you, he is the sweetest dog. He's very playful. He's always coming up to you, trying to kiss you. Such a sweet guy. Um, but his main personality is that he's scared and he's always like, what, what's going on? Mainly I think that's gonna be in his mouth. His, uh, he kinda also has a little underbite, his teeth come out. Uh, sometimes his tongue kinda just sticks out a little bit. Uh, that's so funny. And he's got these big panda eyes, right? He's got these black spots on his eyes and I think I can design the shapes of those big panda eyes in order to create um, an expression on him that makes him look kind of timid and scared. So definitely gonna use those because, you know, eyebrow shape on humans, that's so important for capturing emotion. Um, so I'm definitely gonna use those panda eyes to my advantage. But he also has really big sparkling eyeballs, right? His inside of those black panda eyes are very large eyes, very shiny. His head shape is more boxy than Eva's. Eva's is gonna be a little rounder, kind of probably a circle. But his definitely, uh, I'm gonna try to make it a little more masculine. Some corners at the bottom, maybe his, his ears a little squared off. <laughs> that, honestly, I feel like that's, that's Wally. That's the expression that I think of when I think of Wally, so. So let's, let's try Eva now. So one of the most important traits, I think, for Eva is her big flowing eyelashes. They're really curvy, they, um, I don't know how, they're like two inches long. Um, another thing is she's got a mustache, big poofy mustache, little cheeks. She's very girly. She used to have a little flower on her leash, so I'll probably just give her a little flower on the top of her head just to make sure everybody knows she's a girl. Um, so that's, that's kind of Eva. I mean, it, it's, it doesn't capture her energy. Like she, Eva is really energetic. She, she's very outgoing, playful, runs around a lot. 
Oh, you okay? <laughs> she's not shy and cuddly and, and timid like Wally is. She's like the complete opposite. She loves everybody. She runs up to any human she sees. Um, she's always got her tongue out, always smiling. So, uh, you know what? I feel like, yeah, her mouth needs to be open. Her tongue needs to be out. Oh, you know, another thing is the shape of the mustache. I can use that to create an expression in her mouth. So if instead of going down like that for her mustache, if I curve it in here, that's gonna make her look like she's smiling. Oh, and you know how when, when people smile, their cheekbones or their, their cheeks push their eyelids up and they cover their eyes a little bit? I think if her mustache covered the bottom of her eyes a little bit, that might have the same effect. Like she's smiling so hard that her mustache is covering her eyes. Yeah, I definitely want to make these eyelashes big though. There you go. Giant eyelashes. Yeah, so that's definitely little Eva. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Eva has red cheeks. It's like she's blushing all the time. It's so feminine. Like all these little traits on her make her look so girly. Oh, another really funny thing about Eva is she's got these really long legs. <laughs> It's really funny, it, it makes her look like she's walking like a woman. It's, it's so funny, uh, but I, I guess I definitely have to capture that. And it's extra cute that she is taller than Wally. Wally's got these really short, stubby legs, little curves, poofs out his chest, but he's got really small legs. And then Eva's just this tall, skinny, kind of lanky. Eva's obviously the dominant one. She, she's in charge, she's the smart one, and she's older, right? And Wally's the baby brother, and he really loves his older sister. He, um, he really looks up to her. She teaches him how to do things, she shows him around. He likes to wear his little bow tie. He's a cute little man. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty happy with these designs. Now let's move on to Figuring out the story. There's a long list of little stories, little uh, adventures that they go on. One of my favorites though, I think it's hilarious, is that um, Eva thinks she's a gangster. She's like, I'm a gangster, Wally! And so she she thinks she's a gangster, but Wally's totally not a gangster, And but he's just going along with it because he has no idea what a gangster even is. And he looks up to his older sister to do everything, so she tells Wally to go get some guns, because gangsters have guns. And Wally has no idea what guns are, but he, he goes out and tries to find them anyway. Kind of walking on the streets, very nice suburban neighborhood, trying to find some guns. And then another shot of him in the kitchen, looking around, and then he brings back some polygons. You know, like triangles and squares and stuff. And then, yeah, that, that's the joke. <laughs> it's funny, it, it might not be funny to you guys, but to my wife and I, this is hilarious. Like, the, this is like the highlight of our day, is Wally and Eva pretending that they're gangsters. So, I'm gonna go with that one. I'm gonna transfer this over to the computer. I already know how many panels I need, so I can start by arranging them on the page, adding variety, asymmetry, and just playing with some fun shapes. I want this page to feel bubbly and playful. A bunch of cute cartoony shapes will definitely add to that. This first shot is just them standing there, so I'm gonna bring in my original character designs of them and modify those a bit to make them looking at each other. Then there's an intense close-up of Eva as she's yelling at Wally. I wanna make her eyes popping out and add some angry furrows between her eyebrows. The design of the speech bubbles is important too. They're part of the composition of the whole page. I wanna make sure I can fit the drawings and speech bubbles in each panel. So actually what I'm gonna do before I keep going with the other drawings is 
put all the text in there. The text is already finalized, so I might as well put it in and draw around it. I'm gonna skip ahead and attack this wide panel. It's probably the hardest one because it's got the most dynamic pose. Wally is crouching down, looking for the guns, and I really wanna make sure I capture the body language in this one. He's trying really hard to find the guns, but at the same time, he's really scared and he's holding his guard. I'm not really happy with the pose, so I'll fade the opacity and try again on top. I want his front legs to be down and his little butt sticking up. I think that would be really cute. <laughs> yep, that, that works. This next one is a profile shot of him. So my original character design of him doesn't really help me here. I'll try to transfer over the same proportions as in my front view design, but I still have to figure out the shapes from profile. So I found this photo of him and I'll use that and exaggerate the shapes a bit. Now coming back up to the top half of the page, after taking another look at it, I wanna make a few minor changes. This panel doesn't have enough room for the drawing. The text is so long, it takes up most of the panel. So I'll cut off the bottom of the circle and move the text up. And then up here, instead of having an opening shot and then repeating it again in the first panel, I'm just gonna open up the first panel and let that be the opening shot with the environment on the left side. I think it'd be funny to start by showing them in a really safe suburban neighborhood, bright, happy colors, nice green grass with a big background for them to play in, big poofy trees. It really contrasts the whole gangster story. You got these cute little puppies pretending that they're gangsters. For this one, I'm just gonna copy paste the first panel, reverse it, and modify it. Okay, now for this one, I wanna capture Eva's sassy attitude. Long legs and a stance like she's ready to go somewhere. Excited about her idea, and she's got a plan. And again, for Wally, I'll copy paste and change his mouth to something more neutral. He's just sitting there, listening quietly to his big sister. Another profile shot. I'll use this photo of Eva to design her profile. And the final panel. Wally sitting there all cute with Polygon in his mouth. Eva's leaning in angry at her brother again. He keeps failing at this whole gangster thing and she's just she's desperately trying to be a gangster. Oh, and I'm gonna put an Easter egg in here and see if my wife finds it. Eva loves to chase lizards in our backyard. She's practically addicted to it. She'll spend like half an hour running around, checking under everything, trying to find a lizard. So I'll just add it to the top of this panel. All right, now it's time for the inking. I'll start with all the borders of the panels and speech bubbles, and then I'll move on to Wally and Eva, and then all the background elements. This part is much easier than the previous steps because I pretty much have all my shapes figured out. I just have to trace over them, cleaning up the lines, trying to get a nice thick to thin balance. And now for the fun part, adding the colors. I feel like the obvious place to start is with the colors of Wally and Eva, since I can't really deviate too much from their actual colors. For everything else on the page, I can experiment more with the colors, but the characters are set. So I'll establish those and base the other colors to work with them. The other obvious color is the warm green of the grass, but I don't want to make it too bright so it doesn't distract from the characters. So now I'm gonna keep going down the page, filling things in, and as I add more things, I get a better idea of how I want things to be. So I'm changing things as I go. You can see I've already changed the color of the wall several times, starting with a brick red to a pink and now to a grayish brown. I was also playing with Eva's ears, starting with a light brown, then to a dark gray, same as Wally's ears, and finally settling on a medium brown, same as the color of the fence. So here's the final piece. I finished it off with some shadows, splatter texture in the backgrounds, and a title in the upper left. 
So now I present to you the adventures of Wally and Eva. Wally, we're gangsters. Uh, what's that? Gangsters don't ask those kinds of questions. Oh. We're gonna need some guns. Gangsters go on missions, Wally. Your first mission is to find some guns. Okay. Uh, I found some polygons. Wally! Ta-da! And that's the end of the story. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. Should I make more stories about Wally and Eva? Or was this boring to you? It was really fun for me making this, and it'd be cool to make more adventures of Wally and Eva. So yeah, let me know in the comments. All right, so now let's go surprise my wife. You find you ready to surprise mommy? Let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you like it? Get it, I explain it. <laughs> do you guys like it? So Wally, cute. what do you think? Hey Wally, what do you think of it? <laughs> well, I'm glad you like it. Wally, come here, good boy. That's a good boy, Wally. <laughs> <laughs> 